The U.S. is back. That was President Biden's message at the International Climate Summit known as COP26 today. There in Glasgow, Scotland, negotiations to cut heat trapping emissions are underway. Now, the U.S. is trying to convince other countries to move faster, but Biden is still struggling to pass his climate policies back in the U.S. Joining me to talk about what's at stake, NPR's Frank Langfitt in Glasgow and science correspondent Lauren Summer. And Lauren, I'm going to start with you because these are the first climate talks since the U.S. pulled out uh, under uh, former President Trump. What has Biden's message been? Yeah, Biden's had the same message for these countries as he's had at home, which is climate change is a crisis, but it's also an opportunity for a new clean energy economy and that it's urgent that everyone get on board. Here's what he said. We're standing at an inflection point in world history. We have the ability to invest in ourselves and build an equitable, clean energy future, and in the process, create millions of good paying jobs and opportunities around the world. For the U.S. to come through on its climate commitment, Biden's policies still need to make it through Congress. There's only a slim Democratic margin in the Senate right now. And of course, some of his proposals have changed quite a bit negotiations. Does it look like it'll be enough? Yeah, what they're considering would still be the biggest climate investment in the country's history, $500 billion, but it's definitely not a done deal. The biggest piece are these tax credits for things like buying electric cars, installing solar panels, making buildings more efficient. What's not in there are incentives and penalties to push electric utilities to use more clean energy. That was opposed by Senator Joe Manchin from the coal state of West Virginia. There's still a chance the U.S. will get close to its goal of cutting emissions in half by 2030, but based on comments Manchin made today, it's still not clear if he's on board. 